Okay, welcome to everyone. It's uh, uh, one thirty now, so we are going to start. Uh, so we have the fifth uh, talent meetup: how to hire the best university talent. This is the fifth one in in our cycle of different meetup. Um, we are going to talk. Let's see. Uh, first, we are going to have an introduction with Dr. Sanchez Paso and myself, and then we will present your medal, then Energetic, then Pfizer, you, uh, the Center of Genio, uh, Fundación Syndrome 20Q112, and then we will have a concluding remarks. So let me explain a little bit what, what is PTS. It's a technology um, park focused on health mainly described to include biotech, pharmaceutical, uh, diagnostic, uh, medical device, digital health, everything. The good thing is that we have 80 companies act, uh, that are active in health technology. And we have also corporate, we have government, we have the hospital with a, a big hospital, uh, coupled with two private uh, hospitals, strong uh, outpatient sector. We have a, a bigger, uh, community of patients in Andalusia that all of them are connected. So the, the park, the Health Edge Park, try to connect in all Andalusia. We are working in health in all Andalusia, not just in Granada. And we want to connect um, a university with corporate, risk capital, entrepreneurs. And when they have an idea in the university, to become a reality, to connect this innovation capacity with entrepreneurial capacity and make a new product or a new uh, service for the humankind. So we want to, to try to help people and to create employment and um, uh, GDP, basically. So um, that's the reason because we are here. We have a lot of talents in the in the university, and we want to connect with the companies that have a lot of uh, talents, and also with the entities that are today with us here. And that's because we are in also a European project that is called uh, InnoCore, and it's an Erasmus Plus uh, project that is at uh, offering a curriculum that combines this training in advanced core technology in life science with entrepreneurial education. So that's basically what we want to do to connect. And we are here with the first uh, company with uh, Angel that have an excellent uh, um, uh, opportunity for all of you that is in the company Biomedal. I was uh, able to review another project from Biomedal and were very, very good. So Angel, if you want to, to explain Biomedal and your offering that will be wonderful for all of us. Thank you, Angel, for being with us. Hello, thank you, Lourdes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you very well. OK. Uh, can you see see me or because I, yes. I don't know? If, okay. Yes, we see I, you I, very I well. See, <laughs> see me. OK, OK, yes, now. Okay, uh, well, Biomedal, Biomedal is a company based in Seville. We, we were founded uh, 21 years ago. So we are uh, one of the veterans in the biotech sector in Spain. We have been uh, developing the R&D services from the beginning in the company. Um, but we, some of the R&D services uh, uh, turn out to be a good, uh, uh, to a good opportunity for providing analytical services in the in the in the agro agro food industry. So we provide analytical services to, to food industry. We uh, certify um, a food for uh, nutritional characteristics or the absence or presence of uh, allergens. We are especially especially uh, special um, uh, knowledge in uh, food intolerances. So, and we also have uh, open a uh, new uh, IVD uh, branch called IVDAL for uh, the diagnosis of food intolerances and monitoring of, of uh, celiac disease. So we have provided um, innovative uh, technologies for new 
ways for to evaluate the adherence to the diets in the for Syrian people. We are now um, we have a lot of uh, clinical studies providing very good results on that. We are developing the marketing of this new technology because this is a technology push. So you have to convince now the in with guidelines in the hospital for implementing this uh, technology. So the R and D activities. Uh, that we offer to students is in the new IBD kit development in the field of uh, diagnosis and monitoring of chronic de diseases, uh, antibody production because we antibody is, uh, is one of the of the key uh, points of the of the IBD method that we developed and then to have. Uh, them in a more efficient way or in a in more specific and sensitivity increasing the sensitivity of the antibodies is very important we also perform a clinical research to convince to verify our results in the in the laboratory and uh, we need uh, some work of data management that is another activities that we offer to the students and uh, we also uh, provide uh, some uh, work for in in studying market trends and the needs for analysis of our technology and the new application of our technology. So that, I mean, the, a kind of um, business development to create the new opportunities for our technology in different markets. So these are the, the activities that we we offer to people to students with technical skills so in the if uh, you are um, more interested in the lab work then the rtpcr and immunomethods are the kind of uh, studies that we we are offering for a master student and of course knowledge in project management are welcome i hope that in this master you you know something about that and uh, well i am open to, to your question thank you thank you very much uh, angel uh, there is any question i don't see question here if you want to do it through the chat also through the directly you can take your mic your micro Okay, so you can also email uh, Biomedal if you have more specific question later. Let's okay. Uh, Angel, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Uh, it's nice to see you again, and thank you very much for your participation uh, again and in this master and all of the possibilities you offer to the students. Uh, I would like to stress the importance of this cooperation because uh, in, in the university, we cannot offer this kind of training as you can offer in the enterprises in which uh, you can apply all the knowledge, but also just to connect uh, with the real life, with the, the business uh, questions. So it's necessary, this, this kind of cooperation between the, the industry and the academia. So for us, it's, it's a privilege to come with you as well as with the other people we, we have in our uh, in network, so it's, it's, it's fantastic. M maybe one, one very specific question is how many people can you accept uh, in, in your laboratory during this course? Well, in principle, we, we will expand the facilities for laboratories. So in principle, we typically have only one student, but uh, now we, we are open to even to, to have uh, two students. Yeah. in our facility. Okay, yeah. so uh, uh, maybe for the student, because uh, for other people know our procedure, but for the student has to know that uh, when we finish uh, this uh, meetup and other meetups, uh, you had the possibility to contact 
uh, directly with the responsible, in this case with Dr. Cebolla, in order to make arrangement or just to clarify specific points. Um, maybe now or, or if there is no uh, uh, hurry for that, at the end of February, we, we, we can make the, the final selection. But if uh, Angel, you need to uh, to do the incorporation earlier is, is not a problem. In, in any case, has to be agreed with, with the student. So after this meetup, uh, the, the normal thing is just to connect the people interested in, in the different lines in Biomedal uh, in order to, to, to know all the details and uh, just to be ready for uh, application and inscription uh, in due time. So um, I know that uh, from yeah, the first contact is difficult just to make question, but probably uh, now you have time in order to, to take a look to the website of the Biomedal and also to know exactly uh, what, what kind of things you need in order to, to make your own decision. So please uh, make this consult because if not, uh, we, we cannot tell you exactly the detail. So necessary yes to, to be direct contact between enterprises and, and the students. Thank you very much, um, Angel. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Angel. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Angel, thank you so right. much for your participation. And we are going to the next one. And thank you, Antonio, for your comments. And we have Rosario here. Uh, Rosario, the floor is yours. Who's playing Nanogetic and this wonderful opportunity for the student. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Right. Thank you so much, uh, Lourdes and uh, Antonio, for this opportunity to present the uh, Nanogetic. Uh, Nanogetic is a company that is, is set up here in the PTS Granada. So we are started in 2013, so now it's uh, some years ago. And here you have the information if you want to know more about us, as Antonio was suggesting earlier, the best thing to do is to go to the web page of each company and see the things. So here you have our company. And then if you want to know anything else, you can also contact me. Uh, I'm the chief advisory board, so I'm also academic at the university. And uh, here in the Nanogetic, you have also the person that will be contact and talking to you will be Rosella Nacelli. And that she could present today, so I will... Uh, I will if, if any, anyway, if you have any doubt, you can always contact me. So what about Nanogetic? What we are doing? So Nanogetic, as uh, you can see here in the logo, is developing nanotechnologies for life science. So what we do? So the idea is to, to, to try to use the nano, nanotechnology, the skills that we have in the people working in this company, to apply to, for pharmaceutical and uh, healthcare system. Mainly, we are focused in the treatment and diagnosis of disease at molecular level. So what we are doing right now? So right now, we are in the lab doing some teranostic uh, nano device. Uh, we, we do a lot, as, as uh, Biomedal was saying, we also do quite a lot of R&D service. So means we have companies or academic or research center that they have a particular nano device that they want to develop, and then they contact us and then we, we do it for them. We co-develop. And sometimes due to this co-development, we have some products and we have some the IP, some intellectual property that we share with them. Sometimes we don't share, so there are many different situations. So the thing is um, right now without working in the diagnostic nano devices was saying to you, then we are working also with another company that we have an LMD contract that for sure, this information is confidential, so I cannot talk in about that uh, right now a lot. But anyway, we're also doing some nano device for subcutaneous delivery. And uh, we are also uh, working right now doing uh, open a, a line inside of our R&D service that is quite important, that is the preclinical characterization of nano device. So more and more often, there are a research center or companies that they are developing nano device but then there is a step that we need to, to do to pass that is to, to, to go to do some preclinical characterization. So we are offering in analgetic uh, some protocols that has been approved by the European uh, Nanomedicine Characterization Lab that is in, the, in accordance with the United States uh, protocols for this proposed. 
And the idea is to do this uh, profile for as L and D service. We offer this preclinical characterization. So, what are the activities or research line that a master student could participate in nowadays right now in our lab? So, the main things that uh, if you join us, you could work will be we are doing many protocols of bioconjugation. So, bioconjugation is the ways that we conjugate biomolecules to the nano device. So there, there are some chemistry, it's basic chemistry, but still there are some protocols to optimize. Then there also, you can work in the standardization protocol. What is, this means that we have already some protocols that we have been developing in the lab, but something quite important in, in industry and in biotechs is you need to standardize your protocol. You need to make sure that your protocols can be reproduced uh, without any problem by following protocols that you have uh, details, you have a writing. So this is a very important skill in, in biotechs. So we can uh, you can learn how to standardize these protocols. And also that I think maybe depending on your background could be also quite interesting is you could be implicated in one or two of these protocols that we are doing for preclinical characterization from the point of view of, uh, so I won't go through in deep, but anyway, if you're interested, you can go to the web page or you can ask me for some more information. So what we are looking for, just to finish, what we are looking for, uh, the person the, that, that can be working with us. So more and more, everything is multidisciplinary. So any, any knowledge related to chemistry will be more than welcome because we do conjugations to biomolecules to nano device and we work making nano device. So you need to know chemistry. But also if you are related to biotechnology, then your skills could be also useful. But if you know molecular biology, you know biology, you are related to all this uh, in vitro evaluation, all these things will be also useful. But what will be the more and more thing that we are looking for? Because there are many people that they have uh, great science uh, knowledge and, uh, and they're ready. The thing is more and more, and this, I think this could be very useful for all of you, we need more things such as what? So I said reporting skill, I don't know how to call this, but reporting skill is like that you have to be fluent, uh, writing reports, analyzing results, interpreting the results, presenting the results, nice graphic, nice figure, uh, nice, nice uh, text, nice format. Um, if you would do a, a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, to, to know how to do so. Any skill that you can handle, that you have access through course or through any kind of people that can help you to improve this skill will be very, very useful for any company, not only for us. Also communication skills, very important, English for sure, you know, but anyway, communication skill to be happy to communicate with people, uh, motivated people, team, team worker, very important. Companies are team, they are not made anymore individual people wanting to publish a paper as first author. Uh, companies, R&D labs are team works, and for sure, open mind. So sometimes you work to work in a company to do something, but, um, you keep renewing and recycling, and uh, you just need to be open mind and work with uh, enthusiasm, and uh, things will happen. So anyway, I think my five minutes are gone. So thank you, Lourdes. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, Rosario, because it was very nice, and I, I love all these uh, skills that you are asking for, because they are the typical skills that are really needed in any company or institution. Yeah. And so I don't know if there is any question from the audience. Uh, you can use, as always, the chat, or you can use uh, also the direct use the micro. I hope that you all of you are hearing okay. Just at least say hello. Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, no problem. I mean, you can contact me or contact the company. Okay, one second. Um, thank you. Isabel thank is you. saying thank you. Isabel, um, okay. Good morning, Rosario. Thank Hi, very, Antonio. <laughs> thank you very much for your participation again. 
Um, Thanks for I, one, I think one I, second. One second, Antonio. Sorry that I am interrupting you because it's a uh, very nice uh, question from Isabel, and I will give you yeah. the, the okay. word later to you. Uh, Isabel is asking if the company, think, first at all, that is very interesting presentation. Thank you so much. I think that is very necessary for for us at this time and um, she's asking if the company is only looking for a student or there is a possibility of being employed by the company once the merger is, is finished okay so it's a very nice question so if uh you know what happened with this that i can answer whatever i want that uh, we don't know if it's real or not the thing is right now from our current uh, situation we are not thinking to hire anyone because we are not, the projects that we have, and the project we are covering with the people. But we are keeping applying for many projects, many funding. We are looking for investors in, the, in, in many programs that we are working, uh, we are participating. So as soon as we have any more funding of any kind, for sure, we need, for sure, in Nanogetic, to have more people working in the r and lab. And we will be hiring people and we will be, so for sure, if you are working, if we know you and you and we are happy for how you work in the master, then for sure, this will be the perfect candidate. But I cannot right now because I, I always very optimistic, but in my current economic situation, I cannot say, okay, I will hire you if you, but for sure, uh, if, we are keeping because we want to grow and we are doing as much as we can to grow. So if we manage to grow, we will hire the people. So maybe it's a very political uh, correct answer, but I cannot say anything else. But thank you for your interest, Isabel. Very nice. Hey, I uh, want to tell you, well, go ahead, Antonio. <laughs> no, no, it's just because uh, I think I missed something in your presentation. I was expecting you to talk also about uh, the, the NanoChem Bureau which is the other company you, you manage. Yeah, yeah, this is the lab. So this is Ingenio. So uh, thank you, Antonio. Yeah, very nice. Because the idea is, uh, I was, thank you, I didn't say that. So the part of the preclinical characterization of nano device, we are doing with, uh, with the NanoChem Bio Lab that is in the Genio Research Center that is here in the PTS. So because the, the in vitro, for to do all the in vitro evaluation and this stuff, we work in the with nanochem bio so the the master the 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 master will be like co collaborating between the two the two staff between nanogetic and nanochem bio and in, in total how many students can you accept uh, now okay i will say uh, one and then the, <laughs> let's see i will then talk to the the people that uh, <laughs> You I know, know, I know, I know. Not that, anyway, we are we are coming back to uh, yeah, safe situation. A... I think COVID thing is gone. So I mean, it's not gone. I, I mean, in a public saying, I know saying it's gone, but I mean, we are all vaccinated now, and I think we can have more people in the lab. So for sure, one uh, use, because we are starting. This is in the June, yeah, May, June. When are we starting in the lab, Antonio? Yes, uh, time, well, it, no? it's, it's up to you. I mean, uh, but normally, I think it was something. Yeah. yeah normally, uh, the, the student finish all of the different courses by May. May. So uh, at the beginning of the middle of May, they are free of courses, so they can uh, devote all the time to the work in the enterprise. But before that, it depends because some of the students have enough time in order to participate, some of them not. So in that case, it's, it's a question just yeah. to, to get an agreement between yeah. you yeah. Uh, and the students. But okay, you, you, you can anyway, I found it very convenient because for our previous experience, previous years, when they're focused, because from May, they're really focused 100%. Yeah. So yeah, there is a lot of work that can be done really from yeah. May. Yeah, but, but I mean, for, for me, you, you can start tomorrow if you want. Uh, don't, no <laughs> okay. problem. No, I, I mean, sometimes it's necessary, yes, to, to get in contact with the, the different topics. So it takes time in order to, to use the, the references, bibliography, and things like that, then to move to another step in which you, okay. you know the methodology. And finally, you go to the laboratory to do some things. So okay. the, this is the, the normal procedure, but it's, it's up to you. I mean, uh, or you can wait until they finish everything so they can devote the full time 
okay. or you, you, you can, um, you, you know, separate in different steps. So uh, it's a yeah. question just to, to get an agreement, a student um, and the tutor, or in this case, the enterprise. So um, the, the okay. only thing is uh, you, we, because we have to offer the student possibilities to see different possible uh, options. So maybe uh, we are going to ask all of them to make a decision uh, the last in February. Perfect. But if they, they get this agreement, they can start, I mean, whenever they want. Yeah. As they you say, there are many protocols and see that they can learn how to do it and prepare before. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah but for, for us, it's, it's quite simple. The procedure is quite simple. When you get an agreement, everything is, is ready. So Perfect. It's, it's a Thank question you. just for the student to contact with you. And now you make uh, all kind of arrangements. So no problem. Uh, but maybe at the end, we have to, to do uh, is translate this information to the uh, the platform they use now for the, the, the practical activities, which is called ICARO. But uh, it's, it's just paperwork. So yeah, yeah. the important thing is just to, to get the agreement. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I think that, uh, Rosario, well, thank you so much for your nice presentation that also with, with the opportunity that you have with Nano 3 device with access health, maybe if we are lucky yeah. and we are working a lot on that and you are doing an amazing uh, work there, uh, we have the opportunity to have in, investors in December 17 and hopefully everything is going well. Yeah. And also maybe the industrial doctorate or the Torres Quevedo or things like that. So there are opp possibilities because one thing that we are going to see specifically to to, to all of you to to know that that is that in November from 15 to 19 we have the model six that is internal and external team model for a nano three device that is also part of the uh, uh, Rosario is also in charge of on that uh, um, what we are going to 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 define there is the existing thing and initial role the complete job description for all role needed in the near future critical trials or critical hires so maybe they need if they need some critical hires or hire someone in the near future we are going to study that with the mentors and all of that so we will for february she will know much better what are the possibilities the where we can find the money all of that so hopefully we will help on that too um i think that the timing is very good and it's an excellent opportunity so i will pick this a project also because it's a, a winning a situation for all of you but also biomedal and, and the other ones that we are going to present but i am really optimistic with the project that we are presenting today so okay. thank you rosario thank you thank you so much <laughs> So the next one now is, if there are no more questions that I don't see more, uh, is, um, is the Landera Labs and Amador Gallardo is going to present the, the opportunity and all of what he want to offer and the needs requirement to fulfill for the applicants and all of that. So Amador, the floor is yours. Whenever you want, eh, let me know. Thank you very much, Lourdes, for the introduction and, and the invitation. So uh, as Lourdes said, I work at the Landera Lab. So in this slide, you have in a way of summary what we do at the, at the laboratory, but I'm, I'm going to present you a short uh, presentation about the project I, I carry on so you can understand uh, better what we do in the labs or you can get more interested in, in the project. So I'm going to share the, the screen for a moment. Okay, can you see yes. my screen currently? Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, um, as as I said, uh, I I work at the at the Landerai Lab. We are focused in the um, in the study of the epigenetics in stem cell um, and cancer, and in a more more specific specifically way, we are very interested in the um, epigenetic cell to cell variability. So. In a cell population, 
uh, although all the cells may have the same the same genome, not all the cells uh, behave in equally. So this heterogeneity uh, can be given by a somatic mutations in all, in some of the cells, but also the origin of this heterogeneity can come from the difference in their epigenome. So this variability between cells allow these cells to adapt to the different stimulus and to respond in different ways to them. So for example, in a tumoral cell population, some of the cells could have a greater ability to form a metastatic tumor so they can form secondary tumors in the context of metastasis. And in the field of the stem, the stem cells, so maybe some of the cells of the population are prone to, to respond to the differentiation cues and go differentiating to the uh, type of cell that you want to obtain. So um, the project I carry on in the lab is with tumoral cells, but if any of you is in, interested in, in, the others, in the other cell uh, type or the other project that we carry out in, in, the, um, in the lab, you can contact with me or visit the, the website or contact with Professor Landeira. So I'm going to explain you uh, a little bit about what I do in the lab. So, in, the, um, in cancer disease, a, a great part of the mortality of the disease lays on the fact that from a primary solid tumor, uh, other tumors can be originated in a distant part of the body. That is what we know as metastasis. So the um, cellular mechanism of this cancer dissemination is represented in this slide. So, in a primary solid tumor, we've got cells that grow very compact uh, with tight junctions uh, among them. But in any moment, some of these cells that are known as epithelial cells can lose this uh, junction to, to the other, to the rest of the cells and acquire a mesenchymal phenotype. So once the cells get this mesenchymal phenotypes, they acquire the ability to, to move and to invade the blood uh, system. And this facilitates the cells to travel along the body and got resistant to the immune system or the chemotherapy. So this allows the cells to, uh, to colonize other, other tissues. So this uh, first step is what we know as epithelial to mesenchymal transition. But once the cell has escaped from the primary cell tumor, the cell needs to colonize, colonize the other tissues and grow again in a solid tumor. So they have to come back from the mesenchymal state to an epithelial state. So this second part is what we know as the mesenchymal to epithelial transition. So a very relevant fact about this whole, pro this whole process is that the, the same cell is able to change its identity from an epithelial state with a specific gene expression pattern, with a specific uh, phenotype, to a mesenchymal state. And the very important about this, this process is that the both transitions are, revers are reversible. So although the molecular basis of the, of the process is not well understood, we wonder if this plasticity, this cell plasticity that allows a cell to go to an, from a one state to the another is mediated by epigenetic regulators. So uh, there are a lot of players in this uh, epigenomic uh, um, game, but we are focused in the polycon repressive complex too. So this uh, group of proteins, uh, its function is to um, establish the trimethylation of the uh, lysine 27 of the stone three. So this stone chain modification creates a more compact 
chromatin and therefore is like as sexable. So this uh, histone modification is related with a shutdown of the gene expression. So what we do is to study what is the function of this PRC2 complex in the, uh, in the transition between an epithelial to an mesenchymal state and the reversible transition. And, the, and thus in this way to uh, study the metastatic ability of these tumor cells. So in order to study what is the function of the PRC2 complex in this process, we use an epigenetic drugs that they are um, chemical molecules that are able to inhibit the um, uh, catalytical subunits of the PRC2 complex. So once we um, target this complex, we study how the cells um, behaves in the lack of a functional um, epi epigenetic um, remodeling complex. So maybe we study if the cells lose the capacity to transitionate or they are less uh, present and less plasticity in their behavior. So uh, at the at, at right now we have submit um, a paper. So we are in the process of the revision. So if any of you are interested in come to the lab, you could help us help us with the experiment for the for the paper. And we are also interested in, in try these epigenetic drugs, these compounds in other cancer cell lines, because we, we have tried it in, in lung cancer cell lines, and we are we want to, to, to try then to other cancer cell lines if we can reproduce the, the same phenotypes and to establish a, a universal uh, mechanism of these proteins in the, in the context of, of tumor cells. So, as I said before, you can, if you are interested in come to the, to the lab, you can contact with me or with Professor David Landeira, and we are, we are very happy to, to have you and, and, and that you collaborate with, with us. So, if you have any question, uh, I'm glad to, to respond to, to you. Okay, thank you, uh, Amador. That's uh, being a very nice presentation. Um, I would like to make a uh, comment uh, regarding the presentation of uh, different groups or research groups. Creo que no. Me, ¿Vosotros me escucháis bien a mí? Yes, I can hear you properly. Mm -hmm. Amador? Sí, te oímos muy bien. I, 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 we can hear you very well, sorry. <laughs> Amador, can you hear me? No. No. Uh, well, my, my comment is, is more for student than for Amador, so maybe I, I can explain him later on. But uh, my comment is that uh, sometimes people believe that the research groups are outside the scope of the master because, you know, mostly the master say about the enterprises. But in, in the case of a biotechnology uh, or the companies in, in the field of biotechnology, most of the companies come from the research groups. In fact, most of the startups, uh, the spin-off, all of these uh, different denominations for the enterprises come from the research groups. So uh, the research groups are the, the place in which uh, they develop the ideas and when they have some good idea, they, they can translate for the development and production in, in both sense, the production of a service or the production of a new product. In that case is when you enter into the industry as in this case, but uh, it's necessary yes to develop ideas in, in the front wave of, of the research. That's the reason why I invite uh, these uh, research groups uh, with potential to, to become uh, new enterprises. This was the case of the different enterprises that have been presented today, and many of them and in, the, in, the, in the future, because most of them come from in the research groups that develop good ideas, and now they create enterprises. So 
this is it important. And the other thing is that uh, maybe uh, uh, when you enter in these groups, uh, you have also the opportunity uh, to, to manage uh, how to develop new projects because at the end you have to develop projects. And sometimes it's, you, you can create a research group if you're interested in order to prepare in, in a future you like for to become a, a, an entrepreneur. But in any case, both, if you are just interested in doing research and you have to develop a project, now you have opportunity to, to see how the projects are managed inside the groups. This is a, it's a quite remarkable point. And the other one is just to prepare for the development of an enterprise. So in both cases, uh, research group for me is, is a key point. So that way uh, I explain, uh, we, we incorporate groups with uh, developed enterprises. So um, Amador, can you hear me or not? No. He's connecting again, uh, Antonio. Okay. He's connecting again because something yeah. happening that is he cannot so hear us. If, if for any, some reason. any of the of the students in this master uh, don't see exactly the, the possibilities in order to, to do something with the research groups, uh, just send me an email or we can have a, a private uh, talk. Okay. Okay, what we can do is to, is Sarah, you can start and then Amadar will connect and we can ask questions to Amadar, a specific question after, okay? Sarah, if you are okay, okay. You, yeah. if you want to share your screen or I can maybe go, I, go yeah. on with the, your presentation, whatever is more convenient for you. I think that maybe I'm going to share my presentation. I okay. Think. Thank you so much for being here with us. Sarah. Thank you very much. Um, we can see it very well. Now it's just put the full screen and that's it. Screen. Okay. Yes, there exactly. <laughs> Can you see my presentation now? Yes, we see the presentation. The only thing we don't see the full yeah. screen. We see it in the presentation now. mode, but now, perfect. Now, now we we see it perfectly. Okay, thank you. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce what we are doing in the lab um, to the students and um, try to keep people interested on that. So I am Sara. Uh, and I am a Ramon y Cajal researcher uh, in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology in the University of Granada. And I do my research as Amador in Genio. And uh, I'm gonna introduce, so I am a co-principal investigator in a group that works in the biology of line one root transposome. And uh, uh, so we are like, uh, I think maybe I can, so in my group, there is like two PIs. Uh, one is uh, Jose Luis Garcia Perez, and the other one is me. And we have different research lines, although both of them are focused on the transpose on mobile DNA uh, elements. So in my lab, uh, actually there is currently, uh, there are two um, PhD students, uh, postdoctoral students and bioinformatician, um, we have a funding, uh, Plan Nacional, uh, and Consejería de Andalucía. Also, we have funding from organization of a syndrome called deletion, 22Q uh, deletion syndrome and from the university. And we have international collaborators. That means that you will join to a group where you will have people from, you can learn from people from the different uh, um, with different experience um, and you will join to a group that is international in, in international environment. Um, as I said, we work in transposable elements in general. So they are fragment of DNA that can move from one place to another in our genome. And this is, they are, that they comprise more than half of the human genome. Uh, so there, in general, we study different aspects of that, the impact in the genome and in the, and in, in the body, in the human body. 
and also how they are regulated. So specifically what I am studying now is the interplay between the microRNA pathway and the transposable element in human cells. We have two different research lines. One of them is how the micro microRNAs can control transposable element, specifically ones that are called lines. And if you remember, microRNAs are small RNAs that can regulate gene expression. And what we have found is that they also can regulate a transposable element, this element that can move from one place to another. And in, on the other hand, I am also working in how a protein called BCRA uh, that is really is required for the synthesis of microRNAs um, is involved in a syndrome and a rare disease that is called 22Q deletion syndrome. This syndrome uh, has a prevalence of one per 4,000, so it's not so rare. And they have a, a lot of different symptoms, but uh, some of them uh, affect, uh, could be, I mean, it's neurological symptoms as a schizophrenia, and they also have immune deficiencies and they have a higher risk to, to have autoimmune disease. So this protein, the ECRA, is not only related uh, or required for microRNA synthesis, it's also important in the regulation of this element that can move from one place to another. So to understand what is the role of these mobile DNA elements in the syndrome of ventidoscu deletion syndrome, what we did was to generate human embryonic stem cells uh, deficient in the ECRA using a CRISPR-Cas uh, CRISPR system. And we use this model to understand what's going on with the transposable element in the, in the syndrome. And what we have observed is that these transposable elements are upregulated and they also have, uh, these cells has a basal interferon response. And we are doing, so, so the question for, um, uh, that we have now and um, where the students will join is to try to understand um, how, how this transposable element could be activating interferon in using these cells. And that's, so the idea is to, to really understand if we have uh, an insider threat, I mean, how uh, this transposable element can activate interferon that as, as you know, the interferon uh, normally is activated by virus. So that can increase the risk of autoimmune disease. Um, we do that in a collaboration with a, a group that is based in the University of Edinburgh. So as I said, that means that you will uh, do the, um, your thesis, mother thesis in an international environment. This this question is, is actually. Eh, chicos, chicas, sorry. Radio, eh, buenas tardes. La comida en la paqui eh, ya está por aquí. You can have lunch here also when you come. When you join us, um, we have uh, also. I mean, the, the, the question that we have uh, those days is really the people is in general is a really hot topic. As you can see here, there is so many papers in the last years trying to understand how the transposable element can activate interferon. So would you, you will do in something that is really interesting at that moment. And about the techniques that you will perform, uh, you will work in cell culture, you will do some molecular biology as a reverse um, real-time PCR, in vitro transcription, RNA transfection. You will participate in international meetings, and what we are looking for is someone that's the most, most important thing is highly motivated and enthusiastic for learning basic science that that, that is what we do that is the base of some of, of everything and um, I, I, we, I am trying to to find people always interested to develop the phd thesis uh, experience in molecular biology and cell culture is welcome and a good English level is also really important in general. So 
uh, this is the just the summary and um, thank you very much and this is the you can contact me in the uh, email if you have any questions question yes i have a question okay so uh, good afternoon with everyone my name is gabriela um, I am a student of Master Bio Biology Molecular Master, and I would like to know how many people do you accept now? How many people I accept? Yes, okay. to do the practices. Yeah, so I will just keep one person for this uh, line of research, but I forget to say that, as I said, I am a co-PI, so the other side of the lab, there is a colleague that called Marta Artia that she's interested to, to, to um, supervise another uh, student. So in, in general, we, and she's working also in transposable elements. So in general, we will keep, we will are interested to, to, to keep two to okay. students. Okay, thank you. Uh, I would like to just slip a comment, if possible. It's just talking about the, the number of positions offered for the different enterprises and groups. Uh, I understand that you, when we ask this question, it's just to have an, an idea, no? a general idea. Sometimes the answer is we are going to, to accept many people because we have many possibilities. But uh, usually, uh, at least from my experience, uh, most people are very cautious in that. So. Uh, maybe we are going to hear in, in all cases that they are going to accept at least one. That is, is, this is an opportunity to, uh, for uh, at least one person, but it, it's up to you uh, in the way you contact with the, the people and try to convince about the, uh, the benefits of this cooperation and that you can be accepted or not. So I have the experience that in many cases they say we, we can offer one position and, and at the end they accept all the people who apply for that of that group of that enterprise because the enterprise or the group is interested. But you had to, to contact and, and in this case just to, to negotiate in, in, in some aspect. What, what is your offer? What the benefits for the group and the benefits for you? Uh, so it has to be an agreement. But uh, don't wait the people say we are going to set many, many people because even for the condition of related to the, the COVID pandemic, well, we have many restrictions in some places. So uh, uh, don't be frustrated. They say, well, they have only one, one place, so we have to forget about this. No, you have to contact the person and try to convince that you are the right person. Exactly, Antonio. I think yeah. it's, it's a very good. I don't good... know, Gabriela, if this is a help to you or not. Gabriela is missing. Excuse uh, me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, my, my, I was just asking if, if, if my explanation was yeah. for you or not. Uh, yes, I understand uh, all of your explanation and. So now uh, we have the opportunity to choose uh, one company and think uh, how company is well for us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, all of these uh, videos are recorded, give us uh, two or three days to, so at, until next week, uh, to have it everything ready. You can review, you can study, you can go to the website of the companies, uh, you can do all your homework because honestly, if you choose the best company it will be very good for your career and for professional uh, opportunities later on. So it's, it's a good timing that uh, you study as much as possible the possibilities that all these projects give to all of you. So 
that is what I will do if yeah. I will do in your position, well, in your choose. Yeah, uh, and furthermore, we, we want just to create a, a website in uh, one place uh, in the internet, maybe in Google Groups or in somewhere, uh, to put all the information related to the offers and also the, the CVs of the student so that the enterprise can get access to this information um, in order to make all this agreement. But remember that uh, we have time from now until February to see many possibilities. So maybe you, you don't have to be in a hurry to, to make a decision right now, unless you, you, you see, oh, this is the, 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 the one I, I wanted, no more. It's like when you go to the, um, to the what is the, nom, the name, Sarah, and say, okay, I, I, I need to share it or whatever. So I'll say, okay, you have to take a look to more than one possibilities and then make a good selection. But if you just find the, the, the good one, so you don't have to wait until the end. But for now, I mean, it's, it's a good idea just to, as Lourdes says, to enter into the, the website and see a little more contact with the people in the enterprises and just to, to get all the details. Um, and also, so another thing that you can maybe do is to, to check in LinkedIn. All these people have here the LinkedIn oh, and yeah. you can see what are the background, the, yeah. what are the interests, what are, yeah. what have yeah. been before. So yeah, it, that's very yeah, yeah, so no, that's a, I, I suggest that just to, to make a, a LinkedIn uh, in, in a previous email I, I, I sent to the students. Uh, it's, it's a good idea because this is the, the, the way the, the people manage today. Uh, so they don't want to, to read a, a, even a one, one page uh, CVs because it's too much time. So they, they need a very, very short uh, CVs and you have to be something in, in the background, which may be a LinkedIn or something like that. So they can see exactly how you manage. Oh, what are your friends? It has to be a professional LinkedIn, no, not for, for friends and to share uh, movies or things like that. It just has to be very professional. You had to incorporate, for example, all your teachers or the, the people you know in the enterprises and in, in, in research center or whatever, in order to show the rest of the world that uh, you are a scientist and you are connected. So because uh, this is a value for, for you. So uh, to have a LinkedIn is, is a very good idea. In some cases it's obligated, but at least it's a, it's a good idea. It's a very uh, good idea. And, and another one thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, hopefully in November 18, we will have the next or the sixth talent meetup and will other companies and institutions will explain the same that today, uh, what are the opportunities to do the TFM with the, uh, all of uh, with you, so you will have the opportunity also to see another company's institution uh, in the in, in November 18. Okay. Um, well, may, maybe we, we, we have to talk a little more. You like uh, about the, uh, the the way to manage with the, the, this uh, uh, internships in enterprises or in the research group. Uh, I mean. Uh, it's important for you to, to enter into the different uh, enterprises that you are interested here or outside. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, elaborate a meeting with the people in, in the international uh, services of the university to explain all the possibilities. So you have to explore by yourself uh, places in which you want to do the practical uh, internship because we, we can do agreement with that places if possible. But uh, also we are going to show you example of enterprises that collaborate with us, but be proactive. No, don't be wait for everything to be solved from, from us. We are going to offer possibilities, but, but maybe uh, this is a key point just to select uh, the best place in which you can get the, the, the right information and why not the job you are just uh, looking for, right? And talking about this, this last point, uh, how to get a job, uh, it's, it's, it was raised by, by uh, was, uh, the, the person who presented this, uh, was uh, Isabel, uh, was talking about uh, the, the job apps. Says, how how you, can I get a job in, in your company? Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you, many of the students in the, in the master in, in, has uh, get this uh, job because uh, during the time they were just doing the internship, 
uh, they offer something interesting to the enterprises. So um, it's something like uh, you, you go to one enterprise, uh, you have a job for me, and maybe they say, well, you know, I don't know, maybe next, next day or whatever. Uh, this is something quite different if you ask this following question. Do you want to, to, to gain money, to make money? Oh, of course, I, I, I like to make money. Oh, so what, what can we do? Uh, I have uh, an idea to be developed in your company. Uh, maybe we can uh, ask for a project or whatever, uh, for example, using uh, all of these uh, calls, uh, the Horizon 22, uh, in, in which there are many, many money from uh, uh, official governments and, and things like that in order to develop new ideas. So in general, it's just to offer something interesting to the enterprise. Uh, remember that all the companies need to earn money, so they need ideas to be developed. And, and you're in a good position because you have uh, enough knowledge in order to develop new ideas. Maybe you are in this uh, obligation because uh, people just uh, working for many years in company at the end, you know, uh, the new, the fresh ideas come from you. So you have to be also very proactive during the internship in order to prepare something to be attractive. So if you uh, are just preparing, for example, a project, what, what can you imagine is going to be the result? If you present a good project and the company see that this is its project is going to, to give money to the company, never are going to leave you out. So oh, it's true. they try to hire you, absolutely. It's, it's true, because Antonio. Interested. And, and I really, we appreciate that. Uh, it's true that they, you have to, to construct your value proposition, clinical and economic, and different it from the competitor or the other student or the other people that are on the street. So say what is what are your values and what are your what are you are can offer to the company. So we are going now to to finish because it's two thirty and we are very good with the timing too. So we hope to see you soon in the next uh, month. We will have we want to have all. Of, every month one talent meeting. And I want to say thank you to all of you for this excellent uh, uh, presentations and uh, comments and all the remarks that you have done. So thank you to all of you and we will finish now. Thank you very much, Lourdes. Uh, I would like to, to acknowledge the, the uh, collaboration with the PTS because without this uh, cooperation for us it's very difficult to get in contact with all the enterprises and also you had to know that uh, all the facilities are given by the PTS who present these uh, meetups and all of the technological infrastructure so thank you very much Lourdes. Okay, Antonio, it's our mission to connect, to connect the university with companies and institutions and to transfer all this knowledge. So thank you to all of you to make this possible. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye.